what's going on everyone welcome back to the channel if this is your first time here thank you so much for stopping by i appreciate it hopefully you enjoy the video if you're a continued supporter thank you so much for the continued support it honestly means the world to me uh but today i'm gonna be bringing another unboxing of course uh this is from makeflix it was during the black friday sale and i'm gonna go through it's not a ton but I'm going to go through and kind of talk about what I grabbed. I've definitely never seen any of them. Uh, everything from Makeflix is always a blind buy, uh, as are most of my purchases. So uh, let's go ahead and get right into it right after this intro. Alrighty, so got my box, got my knife. It's just one box. It's probably five or six titles. Um, they were running a sale, of course, during Black Friday. If you spent over one hundred dollars, they they gave you a free bonus movie. So that was pretty cool. So I spent just a little over a hundred. Got that free bonus movie. So let's find out what is in it. And, you know, I don't know why Best Buy is always spine slashing the hell out of steelbooks, but I just cut into the box and I did not even cut the paper. So I don't know why they can't cut into a box without spine slashing everything. All right, so you got a little paper here, a little air pocket thing. Um, looks like there is, I don't know what that is. It's Kingdom of the Vampire, double feature, so. I'm assuming it's just an extra disc. That's not the free one. Um, it's definitely not, but, or it's like a replacement. I don't know. We'll find out. All right, so let's go ahead and just take all these out first. And then, uh, yeah, a big reason I order from Makeflix and Scream Team releasing in general is their slip covers. Um, the movies, I haven't seen a ton of them. Uh, maybe only like one or two so far. I didn't really like Jacko. Uh, that was from Retro. That was from Makeflix, um, and Makeflix has like a few different like sub labels on their website. So uh, Jacko was a Retro Media Entertainment, I believe. And let's get into the first one, which is going to be Witch Academy. Um, I I think this is Michelle Bauer. Or, um, I could be completely wrong. I think that is. Yeah, Michelle Bauer, that is her name right there. And she looks beautiful right there. There's your front, it's called Witch Academy. Purple slip cover, I'm really digging it to be honest with you. Same exact artwork there. I don't know if it's gonna be different, but obviously you got your signature. There's your special features if you wanted to read into that a little bit. But yeah, I loved the purple, loved the slip cover on that. So I really wanted to go ahead and grab that one. Uh, obviously, like I said, I've never seen any of these. Um, the next one, another really cool slip cover is going to be Shocking Shorts. And there's the front of it. These are really like solid slip covers as well. They're really nice looking. Uh, here's your back and it's going to have that autograph, that signature right there. And there's that. And let's go ahead and take that slip cover off. Here's your reversible artwork you are going to get with that one. I don't really care for that necessarily. Um, but yeah, I would really like this slip cover on this one as well. And this is Tempe, Tempe or Tempe, Tempe digital right there. So that's your logo. Like I said, they have a few different like sub labels and that's what you're going to get right there. And then with the first one, like I said, you're going to get retro media entertainment. So that's what it looks like right there. Yeah, just in case anyone cares, I don't know if you guys do, but I always like to try and give as much detail as possible. Here's another Tempe Digital. And I think that's just your um, label number. It's not like a actual numbered spine or anything like that. Uh, you got Shock Cinema. So there's that. A really nice nifty slip cover as well. Uh, here is the back of it. So right there. Uh, another signature, of course. Um, this might have been the one that 
I, you know, I can't remember. I think here's your, well, it's no reversible artwork. Um, but there's Shock Cinema, Signature Edition. It says it at the top right there. Um, none of the other ones say Signature Edition on the top. So, all right, next up after that, I think this was the one that was free if you spent over $100. Um, but I, I don't remember which one was. It could have been the next one, actually, now that I'm looking at it. Uh, but I got one for free. I don't know which one. Uh, but this is Skinned Alive. And there's your slip cover right there. This is a really nice slip cover too. Here's your back of it with the signatures. It also says signature edition up at the top there. And here's your signature. Uh, and there's Tempe Digital. So I don't, I've never, the only celebrity I've ever met is Tony Todd. And uh, I met him with my buddy Chris. It was at the premiere of Hatchet 2. And unfortunately, that was on both of our old phones, old Facebook account. So I do, neither one of us have those photos. And that's pretty much the only celebrity I met. I've never been to Comic-Con uh, conventions or anything like that. I'd like to. Um, but yeah, so I don't have any like autographs outside of stuff like that comes with it. Um, I'm not super big into the autographs. Um, I think it would be more cool to get a picture with somebody rather than an autograph. Uh, personally, that's just me. But um, I would love to get both. I'd love to go to those conventions uh, eventually, meet up with some people. That would be a lot of fun. Um, th so this might have been the one that was free, once again. Not entirely sure. This is another really sturdy slip cover, it feels like. But this is called um, Bloodletting. So Bloodletting right there. And this is another signature edition. You're going to get on the back right there. And this is Tempe Digital. And yeah, so it says signature edition on the spine there. Um, it says includes reversible wrap featuring original 1997 VHS. So let's see. This is like that overboard type of slip cover. I cannot get it off. Uh, there's the original artwork, Bloodletting. Let's see if I could squeeze that movie back in here. Yeah, all right. And I think Skinned Alive had reversible artwork. Yeah, sorry, I didn't show that. There's your reversible artwork on Skinned Alive. Um, yep, same title right there. Sorry, I uh, sometimes forget certain things. So there's that. Uh, and then here is the Alien Dead. And there's your front of it. This is another really nice slip cover that I really liked a lot. So I wanted to grab this one. And here is your autograph on the back another signature edition i think this was definitely one of the ones i paid for um i liked the slip cover i've heard pretty bad things about most of these um they came from outer space to eat the living it says so there's that and uh doesn't say anything about special features really i don't think but there's your back and yeah, so Alien Dead was definitely one of the ones I ordered. And then this was actually another one that I had placed an order with. Uh, and this um, has multiple autographs. And it was also um, a pre-order. And that's why it took them about a week or two to ship my order, uh, which was fine. I'm pretty patient with orders. Uh, but that is Tempe Digital as well. Um, here is your autographs on the back, which is still pretty cool. And this one is called Killer Nerd Duology. So, another one. I don't know anything about any of these movies. I'll check them out. Um, but I am always going to be upfront and honest. I usually get these because I really like the artwork and slipcovers. And um, these are the kinds of movies that I really will check out with friends. Um, I always make the mistake in watching a lot of these movies by myself, like Jacko. And... Me, personally, I just don't really enjoy them, but um, I have watched, like, some of these movies, these types of movies, uh, with friends, and it always makes it a lot, a lot more fun. So, um, when you can, you know, check them out with friends. Uh, but yeah, that is everything. So, what did I end up getting here? I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, it looks like. Yep. Seven titles. Um, one retro media and two retro media and the rest are tempe digital so 
that is kind of their sub labels like i said you know how vinegar syndrome has like vsa vsp vsu well tempit um makeflix which is the company i ordered from makeflix entertainment they have tempe digital retro media um and a couple others that i'm not entirely sure what they are but there is your spines of all of them so you got your logos at the top up there and retro media entertainment right there and then here's one more look at it i'll flip it over there's everything but yeah that is everything um like i said i'm looking forward to checking these out for the most part at some point i will um you know they're interesting movies right uh <laughs> you know they're like i said they're not the greatest but you don't purchase from makeflix or screen screen team releasing looking for you know um award-winning movies or something like that you know just to just have fun with it don't expect too much um i feel like with vinegar syndrome and a lot of these a lot of the movies you know you're paying for really cool artwork and you know just have fun with the movie you're not going to get the greatest movie in the world normally so uh, and then there's that little extra disc. I don't know if, if anybody could explain what this is. Um, if it's just like an extra disc. I didn't get a movie called Kingdom of the Vampire. So I don't know if um, what that is. I'll have to see if I could take a look. But I guess maybe it's just an extra disc. Maybe it's like a hey. Here you go. Maybe I could be wrong. But um, yeah, hopefully everyone's doing well. Uh, I was on a stream last night. It is the middle of the night when I'm recording this because these are the only <laughs> only times I feel like I can record a video. Um, but last night I was on Tim Talks Talkies channel uh, and he did his 20, top 25 uh, community Christmas rankings. So that was a lot of fun, um, extremely fun. And also uh, Pops Movie Dungeon did a top five Christmas ranking stream kind of at the same time last night. So go check out both of those if you're interested. Um, but yeah, a lot of fun. And um, also on Fans of Something channel last night, they did a watch along of Grinch um, with Jim Carrey. So if you're interested in that, go check that out as well. But um, with further, without further ado, uh, I'm going to go ahead and end this. Uh, like I said, hopefully everyone's doing well. Hopefully you had a great weekend. And uh, hopefully I'll catch everyone soon again. Have a good one.